if you suspect a problem with your child's hearing aid, there are several different things that you can do to help troubleshoot that. Some of it depends on the style of hearing aid that your child has or the student has. So um, we'll go with the most common type of hearing aid used with younger children um, where you have an ear mold, a custom ear mold, and then the hearing aid itself. Um, so if the hearing aid is not producing any sound at all, um, there are basically two things I would check first. Um, one is going to be the battery. Um, so you can use your battery checker to see if that battery is has any life in it at all or not, in which case it would need to be changed. Um, and then also you need to check the ear mold um, and make sure that the ear mold is not um, occluded with some kind of earwax or other debris. Um, and you have your set of tools that you can use, especially that wire loop um, to remove um, any debris from the ear mold tubing. Um, so if you can see something in there, you can use that wire loop to get it out. Um, the last thing that I would check um, is the microphones. So if the microphones get clogged up, um, then you can brush them off, but that's probably the least likely issue that you're going to have. Oh, and one other, you can also check to see if there are any fluid lines or bubbles in the tubing. If you see any, um, you can use the ear mold blower to uh, blow that moisture out of the tubing. Um, if you have a hearing device that is this style, which we call a receiver in the canal hearing aid, um, you now have a little wire inside the tube and a different looking earpiece. And so this small earpiece on the end is going to have some holes in it, especially at the very tip. Uh, for sound to come through. And so what we can do then is again use that wire loop um, out of the tool uh, device and we can get inside the hole gently and try to get any wax um, out of that ear tip. Um, I can also pinch the side of that ear tip and pull it off and see then if I get any sound from the hearing aid. Um, when I put the ear tip back on, there's a little sleeve that it fits down into, and I just want to make sure that I kind of twist and push to get that back on there securely. Uh, if it's still not working, um, then some hearing aids actually have a color or light indicator on the hearing aid that indicates if it's working or not. And you'll often see this with um, hearing aids of young children. Um, so I might see a flashing light on here that's green and know that, okay, the hearing aid is working. So the problem must be somewhere in the earpiece. Some hearing aids are rechargeable and we're using these more and more commonly with children. So you may not have a battery door or a battery to check or change. Um, so again, that's where the light indicators can uh, be helpful to know if that hearing aid is working or not. Um, if you suspect that the hearing aid may have gotten wet, um, again, we want to use our um, drying jar here um, and I would just put that um, hearing device um, in there with the battery door open if it has a battery door. Um, if not, you're just going to turn the hearing aid off if it's rechargeable and lay it inside um, and then put the lid on and let it stay in there, I would say for at least five hours or longer. Um, so you can always also call your um, hearing clinic. Um, sometimes they'll have more uh, clinic uh, styles of dryers that are even more effective. Um, so that may be an option as well, especially if it's been run through the washing machine or uh, been worn into a pool, you're probably gonna need something a little stronger than the, the dryer that you have in your kit. Uh, but just know that you have these tools at your disposal to help you troubleshoot any issues.